What's up, YouTube? What up, what up, what up? First, I want to say thank you. We got eight subscribers now. I have no idea where those eight subscribers came from. Y'all just really came through. And I decided to support your boy. So I appreciate that. It's just me today. It's currently Friday. It's the 15th of April. So far, the morning has been crazy. I wanted to do a shoot in the morning time, but things got so crazy that I didn't have time to do it. But one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to do a day in the life of a mailbox store owner. Some of y'all out there might consider building your own mailbox store one day. Uh, maybe you can watch these videos and figure that out. But I'll take you through my day. It's just me. I'm a solo business owner. So everything that I do at the mailbox store is done by me. Aside from like what gets delivered by FedEx and everybody else. So I try to take y'all through a little walk. Show y'all what my day is like. And uh, see what a typical Friday is like. Alright. So if you're anything like me, you got to have some coffee every day. I just checked in the back. I'm making some coffee, but unfortunately, I don't have any creamer. So that means I got to go to the store and get some creamer. But if you're a solo business owner, <laughs> you can't just go to the store. You have to close the door and leave a friendly note. So I'm going to leave a note. I'm going to go to the corner store and I'll be right back. What's up guys so i uh, had to do post a instagram post instagram reel to my personal instagram had a conversation with my mom uh have something special planned with my family this weekend that we had to get in order so I had to handle some stuff but it's about 70 degrees right now it is 11 35 and it is beautiful outside so i'm gonna go outside just for a little bit stretch i do that every day i'll come in at some point in the day i'll just stretch it's taking the positive vibes, but I usually do it inside. But since it's so beautiful outside, let's just do it outside for today. YouTube, YouTube, we back. USPS just showed up a little while ago and they dropped something off. Package for me today. And so I'm opening this up on camera because every once in a while I do get some stuff delivered here for me as you might also at your mailbox store. So let's see what's inside this package today. What's up guys so usps just showed up with a ton of packages so a bunch of stuff in here here and here and uh it's my job now to get all these packages in one of these bins over here or over there so let me show you how this works the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take all these packages here and i'm gonna write a fish box number on them so that i know who the package belongs to i'm gonna take those packages and then i'm gonna scan each one put them into another bin once i scan them and put them in a bin i'm gonna take them from that bin and i'm gonna record in my excel spreadsheet in my computer over here from there 
I'm gonna take all the packages that are in that bin and then put it in one of these. But let's get to work on this and let's make these packages disappear. What up YouTube? So you back, grind doesn't stop. UPS just pulled up. So you know a bunch of packages are coming in. So I'll show you kind of roughly how many packages come in and what it's like to make those all disappear and go somewhere on the shelf. So hang tight. Yo brother. I have to make another trip. Okay. Nice boots, man. Hey Eric. You just got them? Yeah, man. Your ones gave it out on me. Hey man, well, I, like, I like your new style, bro. I almost didn't want to wear them either. I just have to get another pair. They look comfortable. Change the laces. It's expensive. Yeah. These are about 150. Nice, man. I like them. You know, about every three, four years, I gotta get a new pair. So yeah, man, I feel you, bro. Leaves me three, four years. I can live with it. There you go. Problem is, this is the first time I'm wearing them. Where I'm probably gonna end up with a blister or two by the end of the day. So every once in a while, not sure if you guys can see that. The label gets rubbed off, and I don't know who a package belongs to. So. You know, you gotta do some investigative work. And I was able to figure this out because UPS puts the label on the back also. So, uh, shout out to them. Hey, what's up? How you doing today? I noticed you, did you call about that package that just got delivered? Oh, that, no, I, I didn't even see that. I was just wondering if you guys were open. Oh yeah, we're open today until 6.30. All right, cool, I'll come by. All right, sounds good, man. Yo, YouTube, so we're outside now. It is absolutely beautiful outside. It's, I don't know, it's like a smooth 70 degrees outside and it's just a crime to stay inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna take a little break the way I like to take a break outside of the fish box office. So fun fact, today is actually Jackie Robinson Day. And I couldn't let the day go past without saying some words for somebody that like Jackie Robinson to pave the way for me, a black and Ecuadorian man, to have my own business. And to break the color barrier in a sport like baseball, which is, I mean, incredibly ingrained in American culture. I think it's important today that take time to recognize that. And also to recognize that you supporting Fishbox means that you're also supporting a black business and which means you're a part of black history just as much as I am. All right, y'all, we back. Wanted to get back on here one more time because uh, Amazon just showed up with this. I'm probably not gonna do any B-roll to show y'all, show putting away these packages or show me putting these packages away. I just wanted to show y'all, this is kind of a light day for, for uh, Friday. Normally we'll get two, three of these around holiday season. We've gotten as many as eight of these. And so what I do is when the Amazon driver comes, they scan everything outside, they drag everything in in order to save some time instead of them unloading everything and putting it up here. I just always keep a couple of these on deck. So when they show up with one, I give them one back and make a little trade and no harm, no foul. All right, so uh, whenever you get a new Fishbox customer or whenever we get a new Fishbox customer, the first thing that we have to take care of is we have to fill out a 1583 for them, which is a form that USPS requires that we get signed by every single customer just so they can know who they are and know who to go to in case any issues arise. And so I have prepared three 1583s, which means that within the last few days, I got three new customers, which is, that's what I like. Hi, I've been going hard all day and it's Friday at Fishbox. And what Friday at Fishbox means is that it's time for a little 
grown-up beverage, a little happy hour. Which means we're gonna have to crack open something. You know, keep it light this time. I normally drink dark beers, but this time we have a little light beer, so uh, I'll show y'all what we got. So just a little something light, uh, Angry Orchard, you know, peach, mango, hard cider. We're not trying to get lit up in the fish box store on a Friday. We're just trying to enjoy ourselves a little bit. So we're gonna take this, pour it in here, and we'll see what's up. Alright, Fishbox friends, so end of the day, great day today. Unfortunately, Jonathan didn't make it today. He's not going to be here tomorrow because I got to leave a little bit early tomorrow for something special. But I want to say thank y'all for hanging with me during this day. It's kind of a typical day at Fishbox. I think it was a little bit more laid back because they were doing some construction on A Street. So not as many people showed up today. But we'll be back at it tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.